A liquid ring pump is a rotating positive displacement pump that operates with no contact between the moving parts. The liquid ring pump compresses gas by rotating a vaned impeller located eccentrically within a cylindrical casing. Liquid is fed into the pump and, by centrifugal acceleration, forms a moving cylindrical ring against the inside of the casing. This liquid ring creates a series of seals in the space between the impeller vanes, which form compression chambers. The result is a pump with two properties, suction and pressure. To recycle the service liquid, a liquid separator can be mounted on the pressure side of the pump. A liquid separator can reuse about 90% of the service liquid. A float valve connected to a freshwater supply ensures water levels inside the liquid separator are constant. To ensure the correct liquid level in the pump, the system is fitted with a service liquid valve. When the service liquid valve is connected to the water supply, it will replace any evaporated liquid. As the liquid level is above the level of the pump, the supply of liquid to the pump should be shut off when it is not running. We have therefore developed a special valve specifically for this purpose. The service liquid valve is opened by pilot pressure created by the liquid ring in the pump. There is thus no need for an external control. This valve is listed in our product range under Valves. In some cases, the reuse cycle will cause heat to accumulate in the service liquid. The accumulating heat will affect the performance of the pump and can ultimately lead to cavitation. To ensure cooling, a temperature regulating valve can be mounted to monitor the process. The valve can be set manually at the highest temperature chosen for the individual process. If the temperature rises, the valve will open and allow external cooling water to enter the liquid separator, and the excess heat will flow out of an overflow pipe. Typically, the amount of water added is between 10 and 20% of the total water flow. In instances where access to external cooling water is available, water consumption can be reduced to a few litres per hour. The operating liquid for the pump is fed through a heat exchanger, where it's cooled before being fed back into the pump. The temperature regulating valve continues to ensure the correct flow of cooling water for the required temperature. To minimize water use, an air cooler can be added. The operating temperature is generally slightly higher than that of previous solutions, typically around 20 degrees centigrade above the ambient temperature. As the air cooler is sensitive to impurities, the unit includes two cooling circuits. The hot sealant liquid is fed through a heat exchanger where it's cooled by the cold water from the air cooler. This means that any impurities drawn through the liquid ring vacuum pump will not be fed through the air cooler.